Hey, welcome to a brand new video here. He's part of the Asim Pup. It's going to be starting off today. Alright, let's clash. A invitation only race, so you don't see. So you don't see the entire field, but. This is what we got. Now the race was postponed yesterday because it, because it ended up um disconnecting and well you know the AI they like they aren't they aren't smart they won't remember their positions they won't want their positions so restarting the entire thing here see how that goes. And also, you'll see a lot of this one-line racing. It will eventually split up into two different packs. Maybe even three. So this race will be 35 laps. 10 laps stage 1 and stage 2. 15 laps stage number 3. Fuel lasts for eight laps, so drivers will be coming down the road from lap six to lap eight. And uh, yeah, you'll see a lot. It might end up coming pretty crazy here. Might have some wrecks. I don't know. Some drivers might even be out of the race completely. So. We'll see who wins here. Uh, pick who you want to win. So, oh wait, I'm so sorry, Newman. So, choose who you want in this race. I'm feeling like the number 12 or the 6 will win it. This. Coming around to the green flag here. Green flag is in the air here at Daytona, at Daytona Road Course for the Daytona for the Bush Clash. Three wide, oh, Kurt Busch already. He wrecked. Straight off the bat, we have a car that's wrecked. That's Kurt Busch. Gonna need to get him back on track there. He is. Looking at the rest of the field here, though, the Kurt will need to pit. Oh, Buster getting in front there. Alex Berman and and Oh Buster. I accidentally called Kurt or something. I I think I called him Kurt Buster. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I forgot that um, Bush decided to turn into a one, but he left the 41. But Buster right now is in the lead. Some of the drivers splitting up there. Chase okay, so right now is in the lowest, the lowest level, so he will be able to get a better chance, but he's it in that front stretch chicane, the outside lane does get the advantage. This does need to come down the road. So there he goes down the road. Now it's time to catch up with the other drivers. Are right now in the lead. Bill Buster in front, William Byron in second, Denny Ham in third. We'll side by side for second hand, William Byron and Denny Hamlin. Five to battle for second place here. Iron takes second, and all the way up the top there with Carl Bush. 
Paul Custard getting in front. Ooh, William Byron looks like he's going to be able to catch up to Paul Custard there. And look at that gap. Coming into the front stretch of Kane, I think William Byron might be able to have a chance there. Just keep it latched on to Paul Custard. Oh, they're falling back. I think that was Martin Trux Jr. that fell back. I'm not sure if he was in the back of the field. Sure did see some drivers fall back. Oh, Buster still in the lead. William Byron right behind him. Um, oh, where come Marola? Oh, there's Tyler Reddick. Who's on top of the field? Oh, it's William Byron on the outside there, and he will take the lead. Purpose coming out of pit road, coming out of pit road in the back of the field. It's far behind. And Byron on the outside of Kurt, Cole Custer. Custer has the run on the outside. Will he be able to make it? He can get in front of him there. Oh, Bush in third right now. Eric Amarola, who was on top of the field, now fighting for third place. Or fourth place, I mean. Fourth place. Coming around to lap number three. Oh, Cole Custer getting in front of him. Yeah. He's getting way ahead. William Byron does need to get a good lane to be able to catch up to him. Soon it's getting, it's gonna get to the point soon where they're gonna need a pit, and it's really just all gonna be on the. It's really just gonna be about the picker here. The picker can do well. And can in front there, but William Byron looking like he's already catching up a bit. Here's Kyle Busch and Brad Kowalski. The rest of the field. around lap number four. Actually, in a lap five. Oh, this is why I hate this. Oh, William Byron taking the lead. Against Cole Custer, look at how spread out they are right now. But all the way back to here. Watch this battle, William Byron now in front. And Ryan Blaney, one of the drivers that I thought might be able to win this race, is right now in the back. But as I did say, it really is all about pit crew. Next lap, they're going to be coming down pit road. So, see how that, some of the drivers might be coming down pit road. Next lap. 
remember if they do go down to the next lap, they will have to pit on lap 3 or stage 2. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll just see how it goes. Environment still ahead there. I'll push in third place. He looks he's actually looking like he's in that position where he was in the real bush clash. Um, right before William Ryan Blaney and Chase Elliott wrecked and he took the lead. I think Kyle Bush they, if those two wreck up front and Kyle Bush will take the lead and might end up winning the stage. We don't know. Just locks him racing, so it's gonna have to be the pit crew here. And Byron still in the lead. Let's look over to the back of the field here. Ryan Newman, Kevin Harvick, Aaron Truex Jr. in the back of the field. Yes. Yesterday, when we had to postpone the race, he was actually way out in front of the field. And now, look at him in the back. Way how, way how it's completely changed. Brian Newman and Kevin Harvick also in the back here. Ooh, it looks like Bubble was just trying to make that move. He left that outside lane open for Eric Jones. And here they go. Some drivers might be pitting right now. Oh, that's only the back of the field came down pit road. Most of them decided to stay out here. All three wide racing there. Eric Camarola. Passing Eric Jones and Billy Logano. Oh, they just glitch in front of him. Wow. Look at this. They're starting to get more spread out here. No, Eric Camarola making another pause here. He wanna, looks like he wants to make it three wide. With Kevin Harvick and Eric Jones in the middle. Actually, how did Kevin Harvick get up there? He was right here with Ryan Newman. And now he's up here. So, I have no idea how he got up there. Must be his amazing skill driving skills. He is the oldest full-time driver, but look how far away these leaders are right now. Now, I would expect a lot of drivers to come down pit road this time by. So, here are the leaders. And, uh, oh, everybody came down pit road that time by. So, nope, everybody stayed out. So Cole Custer, William Byron are now close together. Ooh, here comes the others though. They might be able to catch up. Oh, it might just not be on time right there. They had the speed to catch up, but it's a bit it just just missed it. Look how spread out they are now. Look at her push back of the field.
to a certain moment. Here. I just need to see where they are on the track right now. They're going down there, so it would have been like lap while I was going. So I am going to say Probably when they come around it will be white flag. William Byron still in the lead called Bush Brad Kulowski and William and Alex Bowman. Can hope us to catch up here. And Byron is just still trying to maintain that gap and trying to make sure that it gets wider. Oh, Bush is pretty much safe in third place. Unless there's two, right? But I doubt it. Brad Kowalski now taking fourth place. Alex Bowman falling back. Oh, but Bowman looking like he wants his fifth place back from Denny Hamlin. Bowman up the outside of Hamlin here. Oh, but he just can't run. There's going to be a battle for fifth right here. Oh, Brad Kowalski, something happened. Whoa, Brad Kowalski. Breaking in front of the entire field, slowing them down, and now it is Tyler Reddick and Chase Elliott taking up 4th and 5th. Alex Bowman still on the front here, and he looks like he's coming around to win stage number 1. Alex William Byron in front, 2nd Cole Custer. Third, Kyle Busch. Fourth, Tyler Reddick. Fifth, Brad Kildalowski. So, I'm just going to write that down right now. Wow, something sure did happen, though, to the two-car Brad Kildalowski. He stopped in front of the field, slowing down Alex Berman and Danny Hamlin. And... Alex Bowman was in the middle of trying to fight with- Oh, whoa, whoa! Eric Almarola! What just happened to you? He just bounced back. He's lucky enough that the stage has already ended, though. So... Alright. So... A-S-M... Day 
push. Then we got stage one with the twenty four forty one twenty four forty one. Oh, yeah, then the eighteen, eighteen, eight. And then two. So we are getting ready for stage number two here. And that that wreck on the final lap on the back straight away. That was pretty crazy. Tyler Reddick was just able to get around that and he took fourth place. Whoa, whoa, Denny Hamlin. I'm always wrecking it. Look at, like, lots of drivers right now. They're, they're just driving it crazy now that the stage is over. But, wow. So we're just going to line up ready here. So now it's time for stage number two here. Getting ready for the green flag. Green flag is in the air, stage number two, and they're already split up. Look at how split up, spread out they are. Three wide there. It's close racing. Oh, Joey Logano! Huge wreck. Are they going to pull out a caution? Alright, I think we're going to need a caution here. Wait. Joey Logano might be able to get back on the track here. If Logano can get back on the track, then there will be no caution. Just trying our best to get Logano back on the track. Alright, so that is going to be a caution. Already up one into the race. The stage number two, right? We have a look. It's all something like that in stage one. With Kurt Busch, but Joey Logano, Kurt Busch just like slid off over here. Logano just got launched to the middle. So that is a caution. There's trying to get him back on the track here see if he's gonna right they're making progress progress and he's over the track okay come on we're gonna
I look on, I just get a rack. Please. Yeah, okay, you. This is gonna be taking a while. We will go to the ad break here. You don't have to watch this part. And uh, yeah, while we try to just to get Belladonna back onto the field. Right, we are back here. Belagano has successfully gotten back on the track. Don't want to waste too much time. So, uh, yeah. Okay, but that, that wreck with Lagano, he just went flying off. Now, sadly, I can't look at the replay, but he will, he will show up in the news. It might be in the news, we might talk about that wreck and show you exactly what happened. Or we'll at least just tell you. Alright, so they are all lined up here getting ready for the green flag. They will be starting off from lap number four. And green flag is in the air here. They're already split up into two different packs, but I'm telling you, they will get up into one pack. Look at that, Logano already making a lot of progress right off to his wreck. Run on that inside five wide. Ooh, Blaney fallen back there. Looking at the lead here. It's out the fight between Alex Bowman, William Byron, and Brad Kozlowski. I don't think Alex Bowman was happy that uh he he lost his fourth position because of Brakowski, so he's probably not gonna. He's certainly not gonna let him have the lead at all. So we'll see how it goes here. Through the backstretch stop, whatever you call it. Oh, Wilson Dillon form back. I'll push up the top lane so he might be able to have a little advantage there. Oh, Kyle making a pass for third place, but it's Brakislavski down on the inside for the lead, and Alex Bowman trying his best not to give it to him. Oh, Matthew Benedetto! What is happening here? They're just flying everywhere. Wow. Matthew Benedetto somehow has taken the lead. 
not sure if that was a late fling or he's or he just had a major run there, but sure did take the lead. Roy Logano already making it up to like the middle of the field. Look looking to get a top five finish because he after he wrecked. But see how he goes. How he has how his stage turns out. Benedetto pulling the lead. Go to a good camera view here. Wow. <laughs> lap for seven here. I think. Oh, I think the thing collapsed. The, the, as fun, the fun run, the DRL series, doing a fun run league, we, I forget the, if I forget the points, he, and, I'm sorry. Well, if I forget the, um, laps, I'm sorry. Anyways, continuing on, it's laps number seven right now, so they will need to come down pit road. It's Brad Kozlowski and Carl Busch. Three wide for fourth place here. William Byron and Alex Bowman have lost their top two position. The Benedetto way ahead of this chaos. Side by side for last place. I don't think that's a good idea. Is you guys want to shove each other to get to the front, not go side by side. These guys are just running it in one line. Gonna fall back again. Look at that. And no one came down the road. So it's going. Well, it looks like if they didn't come down this time by, then they're gonna run out of fuel and they will have to come down the road. Looks like I'm guessing nobody in the back of the field came down for road because this time no one in the front came down. But we'll see. Benedetto is still in the lead here. Let's get to a view up here. Okay. This is a very good view. Now this is the point where it really just depends on on the pit crew. It's time for them to pit. It's all, go it's all depending on the pit crew here. There they go down pit road. And Ryan Blaney in the back. The Benedetto still in the lead. Paul Bush in second right now. They're still with a pretty big lead. They're coming out of a uh, pit road. 
and if you drive on the track, Matt Benedetto is still in the lead. Carl Bush, William Byron, Carl Bush, Carl Bush William Byron, Brett Lousy, and Alec Berman fighting for it. It's Irv Jones now joining in the competition. And you on top of the top of the number four, I think that was. Chase Elliott shoved down to the bottom there by the 19. He's going to be falling back. Everybody just glitching everywhere for positions. Matt's about to go in the front here. Only three to go for stage number two. Around the bubble Wallace right now in the front with, with Cole Custer. Remember, Custer was one of the drivers that was in the front of the field lap, the first few laps, and now they fall back again. Bubba Wallace, I told you, he, he didn't make a move early on in the race. He can he got passed by Eric Jones, but I think now it's a chance to at least get a top three. The thing with Matt Benedetto that he's in that clean air, so he won't be able to, it's going to be hard for him to make it any mistake. All these drivers in the pack, with it being pack racing, everybody's just getting hit around, and they're going three wide, so it's even harder. And look at that, look at that. You have Pat Kudlowski pull up on top of the field and just fall to the pack. He's been running in the front the entire day. Now he's just fallen all the way to third, fourth last here. Bubba Wallace now in second with Cole Custer third, and Byron fourth, and it's a battle for fifth. Oh, it's close. Flag is in the air for stage number two. And Bubba Wallace looks like he's got second place secured, maybe. Yep, Bubba Wallace looks like he's stretching it away from the field. He wants to t hold second place there with. Oh, Custer and third. Well, it looks like it's going to be a battle for third place with between Cole Custer and William Byron there, because then Byron is just in that position to make that pass, while it's a battle for fifth. Mark Trucks Jr., who was in the back of the field, stage number, stage number one, he's now in fifth. Will he be able to keep this fifth place, or will everybody just be able to pass and go around him? Crazy bat! Oh, William Byron making a pass for third place. I knew that was I knew that was a smart position for Byron to go into, and that allowed him to make that pass for second place for third place. He's now looking for second. He's on that top side, so he might be able to get the run coming out of the turn. It's Matt Benedetto in the front of the field. Matt Benedetto will go across the line to win stage number two. I would say Bill Wallace got second right there. The photo finished with second place. William Byron third. Bill Custer fourth and Chase Elliott fifth. So 21, 23, 24, 41, 9. 21, 23, 
24, 41, and 9. Alright. So. That was a pretty good stage 2 there. 22 having a major wreck pulling out the portion. At least he has the top has top ten, so it's only top five that get points. So the number twenty four this is his second top five finish here. Top yeah, top five. He have the most points right now with with twenty eight points right now. I'm afraid that I'm my avatar might have like kicked some driver out of the field, so I'm gonna do a quick scour around with you guys. Look around, see if anybody's wrecked. I'm catching up. I'm speed. Let's see if you guys like. Alright, it's time for stage number three here. Stage number three is 15 laps here, so five laps more, meaning it will need to pit twice the stage. Around to the green flag. Green flag for stage number three. Kyle Reddick getting that, that much of a start here. William Byron down all the way to the bottom, and he looks like he's going to take the lead. Can he keep lead coming around? No, he won't. Any Hamlin now in front. Any Hamlin's been trying so hard to get a top five position, he hasn't been able to get it. But oh, look at that! He's falling back, and it's Ryan Newman now in the front. He's been running around the back of the field. Oh, Kyle Busch! Kyle Bush has wrecked off of the track here. And they're trying to get him back on. If he, if he can't get back on the track, then that's going to have to be a cost. Uh, it's stuck in the ground. What is it? Oh, Bush is still trying to get back on here.
And it looks like that will be the cool shit. Actually, wait, no, Oh, Bush is getting out of his car. He's not going to be able to finish this race off. He said he's on top five. It's good enough for him. At least he got third place stage one. He's going to... He thinks he's going to be able to go with Lee for the top five of this race. Where the real race has, has been wrecked out of it. Lugano, I'm so surprised that he's able to drive. Ah. I am Blaney Ryan Newman. Holy. Man, look at that. Blaney, who's running around the back of the field, he's now up front with Newman, another driver that's been running around the back safe, safely there. Chase Elliott and Cole Custer side by side for third. They come around to the second lap. I am Blaney. Oh, Newman making a move for the lead here. It looks like he's going to take the lead from Ryan Blaney. Oh, Custer now right behind Blaney here. He might be able to take second place from him. Oh, he, Blaney gets a little bump from Cole Custer on the on the rear bumper there, and he's going to get a shove. They just can't get the lead right there. Not enough of the run down that, down that straightaway. But he's go and it's Newman now, still in front. Newman still in front. William Byron looking like he can take third, fourth. He's gonna take fourth place away from Matt Benedetto. Justin Dillon taking it all the way down to the bottom. Whoa, whoa, Denny Hamlin. What happened to Denny? Where did Denny Hamlin go? Denny Hamlin has disappeared off of the track. You saw him go flying. And it looks like Denny Allen is also out of this race. I'm not going to pull out a caution there, though. Then he is pretty much going from the track. We don't know where he is. He sure is gone. Denny Hamlin has officially disappeared the track here. Oh, look at that. It's an actual pool. It's nice. I think from this angle here. Newman's still in the lead. After Benedetto is taking second from Blaney. Blaney now in third. William Byron is falling back to fifth to sixth place here. They're coming around to lap number four. They hit lap five. And and pit lap 13, they can make it all the way. So you pit lap 5 and then pit lap 13, you can make it all the way. Lap, you pit lap 8, and you'll be able to make it the rest of the race. So it really just depends on when they decide to pit. And Blaney looking forward to passing Matt to Benedetto there. Oh, whoa! Blaney! 
a massive shove to Matt DeMenadale. Head fell back in his way. Ow, and the bed get out with a much more wire lead in stage number two now. Look at that. Now to Blaney and Newman. Wow. Crazy launch from Blaney giving bring Matt Benedetto a chance to take Lee. And it will good to stay on the radio. He might need to pit soon. Because he thinks he has some damage on his car, so. I think those kind of launches are pretty dangerous there. And that time, it literally gave Activated Doe some damage. Man, crazy Rex here. Ooh, here's Blaney in second, Chase Elliott and Ryan Newman. Seem like they might go side by side here. Elliott making a pass for third place here. Side by side, but it looks like Chase Elliott is going to keep second. It looks like Chase Elliott is going to take second or third place. Yeah, and it's Elliot and Blaney once again. It's only lap number four. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Matt and Vendetta, for a second, they almost disappeared. We're gonna get that. Camera angle view there. You can still see him. Bill still holding that lead for Chase Elliott, looking to take second place. Oh, William Byron! Up in the air. Oh, and everybody's catching up. Newman is still in second place here. Jay Silly has fallen back, he's got the help of Bill Wallace though. Only lap six right now. You look at the Menadetto's going down pit road. The leader of the fire race is going down pit road here. I think the damage was just too much for him there. The field was starting to catch up to him, so he, he had to pit. Oh, Tyler Reddick from the back of the field, he's catching up. He's making some moves. I'm Newman right now in the lead. It's Brian Blaney and Newman's Penske teammate, Chris Fisher. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody's falling back here. It's Alex Bowman taking the lead. You never expect 
to see that to happen. And how they split themselves up into two different packs and collapse seven right now. Coming down on that that bottom lane there. Where Camarola shoved up the track and he's gonna get past the Ricky Stenhouse coming around. Camarola is up the top, he on side by side. And there they go down per row. The only driver staying out is Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman is the only driver that stayed out. Well, here's Matt Benedetto out way in front of the field. If you remember, the Benedetto pitted lap six and whoa there's a wreck that's eric jones 43 car getting back on the track pretty quickly though where is our leader alex boom Going to the back strip became you here. Okay. Where is Alex Bowman? Alex Bowman. Whoa, whoa. Car push all the way down to the bottom of the track. I'm gonna keep doing his lap back. are happening everywhere. Oh, actually, Alex Bourbon has disappeared. We've officially lost Alex Bowman. I think he has disappeared. Okay, yeah, I think Alex Bowman, the leader, has wrecked. I don't know. Yeah, Alright, Alex Bowman, I think he's... Wait, nope, there's Alex Bowman. I'm like, where the heck is that? Alex Bowman, the leader, he was way in front. But, oh, here's the field. I think they'll be able to get in front of Alex Bowman before he gets out of pit road. But the Benedetto's still in the lead there. Yep, he's gonna be able to take it away from Alex Bowman, and Matt the Benedetto has taken the lead. Alex Bowman taking second place here. Matt the Benedetto. It's really all about who pits the time. Benedetto did pit a bit early, so we'll see. 
So Ben Benedetto is going to be able to hold that lead for very long because he's going to need a hit around next lap. Battle for third place here. Chase Elliott right now holds the third place. William Byron down to the bottom of Ryan Blaney. Lap number. Well, here. Bowman made a smart position, though. He ain't gonna need the pit. Plus, there's a caution. And there is no caution. I think back to Benedetta. Alex Bowman. Alex Pullman, Jay Selliot, Kevin Horvick. And looks like the second, third, and fourth right now are the only drivers that don't need to pit in some of this pack. But it really does the pit. We were just late for saying this, but we have entered an hour in watching this, so. Matt Benedetto is going to pit here and he's going to lose that lead. Looks like he might get fourth place though. And everybody's on the road. The curb pushing our bones are staying out. Look at that out Pullman in the league. Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott is gonna gonna be a fight for second place right now. Alex Pullman there. Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott still battling for second place here. And there's Kerb Bush right now in fourth place. He's gonna need to come down the road to by. And the unusually put out, so. They come around to the two to go mark here at Daytona. And woman taking it to the two to go mark. Her staying out. Wow. Decided to stay out here. And there it goes. We're going to need a pit. And you seriously do not want to pit on the white flag. Oh, they're going to have to. The curb push is ready. Looks like curb push and Kirk Jones are spotted and saying that they need to pit now. They missed pit road. So they're going to need to come down pit road on the white flag, which is a very bad idea.
Look at the pack over there. Far behind. Here they come. Round for the white flag. Round the front stretch to Kane. Coming around for the white flag. Stretch the tone of the court. Don't need to come down the road here. As I said, it was a bad idea for them to put this pit road. But they don't know what's gonna happen now. At leaders here. Alex Coleman in the lead. I just realized Alex Coleman's pink skin blends in with the. To me, it looks like it blends in. Let me like see him like, like, which is probably the reason why I didn't see him on the track for you. Alex Pullman's still in the lead, he's coming around, back stretch of Kane for the final time. Chase Shelley and Kevin Harvick a battle for second place. They come through the front stretch here. Alex Bowman coming around to win. This clash for the Asim Cup. Kevin Harvick getting second. Chase Elliott in third. At the Benedetto. Fourth, and you got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Fifth place. And Alex Bowman will win the first race of the Addison Cup. What a finish there. Alex Bowman taking the lead. Chase Kelly and Kevin Harvick behind him. Because of all that smart strategy. Alex Bowman, he could have gone top five. Those first two stages, he just got ruined. And was shoved towards the back usually. This time, Alex Bowman is one. Man, look how spread out it is. The top, top five. And here comes the back of Driver Eric Jones. So it's going to be Alex Bowman winning the 
S A S C A S M Brazy Rex here. Brazy finishes. They were able to finish the race off. And it was it was Alex Bowman who came in there at the end taking the win. Honestly, he he had a pretty rough race there. And that is it for the for the first race of the As Cup season. And we'll be back with you for the next race, which might be the which is going to either be the Daytona Jewels or the Daytona 500. We will see what will happen. Have a good, have a good day, everybody. Good night.